morning I woke up a man. This is by far the worst day of my life. I said, you know, I first of all, I don't want to overthink this. And he said, but I know one thing. Women are not 100% feminine. I didn't want to play this over the top. There's an elegance and a gentleness and an innocence, a sensitivity that women have. And I said, I don't want to mock that. You know, I want to have fun with women. I want them to laugh at this, laugh really hard, but um, to not, you know, not be just made fun of. So I was trying to find that and kind of respectfully do it and yet be funny at the same time. Do you really have a penis? April! Can I see it? What is the matter with you? I never really, really watched women before. I don't know if guys can really, really concentrate like women can. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. But like women have that eye contact that's just more intense than guys aren't willing to go there. Guys will stop, you know, emotionally, and the women aren't afraid to extend the moment. And that's what's nice about the film to me. They're really, really funny moments, but we extend it and let's just see where it goes. Boys are cheats and liars. They're such a big disgrace. They will tell you anything to get to second. Baseball, baseball, he thinks he's gonna score. I think it was all really fleshed out really well in the script. Tom and Rob wrote the script together and they really worked really hard to make all the characters well-rounded. And April is, is the same. I think, you know, it's just about the insecurities with April. She's a really good person and she really do anything for her friends. And I think that April would never have been mean if Jessica wasn't being mean, you know? April, this is gonna go straight to your ass. I think April had never been treated well by a man before, besides her dad, maybe. So that was huge to her. And that also gave her a confidence that she didn't realize that she needed, maybe, or that she just didn't have before. They're also spending so much time together. And eventually, April, my character, stops looking at Jessica as Jessica. She starts looking at her as Spence. And Tom always says that it's like what people want, not just women, men and women, want in a partner is a best friend, too. Honestly, I think April's gonna have a hard time getting over her, her love. I've got hair everywhere! In my nose, in my ears, on my chin. I'm afraid to look anywhere else. <sighs> this was so fun. It was, honestly, it, you know, it was fun being one of the girls, just hanging out. And the scenes I loved the most were the scenes like Anna Ferris and I just talking. Uh, it's just absurd. And after a while, it's kind of like the audience forgets that I'm wearing these kind of little crazy clothes. I think for me, it's more interesting than just a guy in drag. It's a guy really, you know, saying, I'm really a woman. I'm in here. And then how do we deal with it from there? Tom and I said, we let's make this more interesting. Let's really go for it. You know, and it'll be funnier, it'll be 10 times funnier if we do. So that's one thing I think we were smart to do. You just root for him. There's something so vulnerable about him and likable that, you know, you just love him. And off camera, he's an unbelievable person. He's so smart, he's so hardworking, he's so friendly, and he has a really dry sense of humor though. He's very calm and down to earth and mellow, but he's really witty. Is there like a guy? It's actually a Senegalese loo carved from deer wood, used for fertility rituals. And cool. Yeah. Oh, and you can put your weed in there. Adam Sandler, expect him to pop up in my movie, and I think an Adam Sandler movie, you expect me to pop up. It's just a way to hang out with each other for the day. <laughs> you know? uh, but he's very funny in this. I think it's his funniest small role I've ever seen him play. And I was very happy that, um, that he's proud of it, you know? I was so, so starstruck around him. Because, you know, with Rob, at first I was starstruck too, but you're working so hard, and so you really get to know these people, so it's, you know, becomes like old, old hat or something, but Adam comes to set, and he's only there for like two days, and he's so funny, and in the scenes, he talks so quietly. The sound guy was like, don't breathe anymore, Anna, because I'd be, ha, ah, ah, ha, like, <laughs> you know, breathing like that over his lines. And he's such a nice guy, though. I know it's crazy, but I can't help it. I'm in love with you, Spence. Oh, yeah, I'm a hopeless romantic. Never give up, because at its bleakest moment, it's still going to be beautiful, you know? Unrequited love. I mean, you take that equation out of uh, literature, you got nothing in my opinion. You know, I think the best, the funniest comedies have that, you know, it's gotta have love in it. In this absurd, insane situation, you know, how do, you, how do they handle it, you know? With love.